the 11 year old team and uh, we'll just go through the boys here starting with Caden just let them know what position you play that's a heavy plaque <laughs> Hi, I'm Caden Sear, and I play second base. There you go. Hi, I am Lucas Tremble, and I play first base. Hi, I am Matthew Barboza, and I play left field. Hi, my name is Aiden Cousino, I play third base. Hi, my name is Peter Rubini, I play right field. Hi, I'm Kyle Cousineau, and I play center field. I think they're a little bit shy today, so. <laughs> yeah, they weren't, they weren't shy you know, when we first came in. Yeah, they were bouncing off the walls out there, so. That's all right. Now, they'll come into their own eventually. They will. Yeah, usually by then the show's over. <laughs> <laughs> Much like them, I was nervous when I was first speaking on the radio a little bit. All right, so let's talk about that while we went on so we can educate everybody. Yeah. Um, so we actually started out uh, one and two. We had lost to a very good uh, team from New Bedford, and um, some of those boys we actually play on the same AAU team. So uh, we get out to the 50-70 diamond. It's a little bit bigger um, than a field that we're used to be playing on when we're you know eight, nine, ten years old, and um, and they they beat us a couple times and uh, wound up getting the call from uh, Mike Janicki, who's the Eastern Mass uh, Cal Ripken Commissioner, and uh, invited us to the state tournament. And it was really based upon runs allowed that we had and uh, run differential. And we are the uh, two-time state uh, champions when they were 9 and 10 years old. So uh, we took the opportunity and didn't look back. We actually went on to win 19 games in a row and um, won a couple of local tournaments, uh, the state tournament, and then went into the uh, New England regionals. Uh, it was actually hosted up in uh, Dover, New Hampshire. Uh, fantastic facility up there, um, outstanding people, and uh, they really did a nice job, put on a great regional tournament. They had actually hosted it there for the last couple of years, and um, just we didn't take a, uh, anything for granted at that point. Um, played some really good baseball. Um, we have three of the best pitchers in New England on one team, and uh, you know between Lucas Tremblay, Dominic Taylor, and Caden Sear, uh, these three kids uh, would be number ones on any of the New England teams that we saw and to have uh, three of them on one team uh, has just been a fantastic experience uh, for them. Um, we also joke around uh, Jackson Moore who's our catcher. Uh, we always say he's the best catcher in New England and uh, after seeing the tournament and the competition uh, he's definitely one of the best uh, in New England. Um, he has some fantastic uh, coaching um, with Josh Fabian in All-Star Baseball. Uh, has some private one-on-one -on -one instructions that he gets on a routine basis and uh, really prepares him both for the physical and the mental game. Um, one of the other items that actually really came out during this season, especially at the 50-70 diamond, uh, was our play uh, on defense. Um, he had fantastic uh, infielding um, by Dylan Bradley. Um, Caden Sear, um, we actually had uh, had tryouts for third base, and Aiden Cousineau, um, you know, stepped up to the challenge. And uh, never, I'll never forget, we had a uh, first game of regionals taking the infield, and um, his brother Kyle over here uh, threw one in from center field and hit the kid right square in the nose. And uh, <laughs> so right away, I look over, and uh, it's not a very good, uh, you know, welcoming to get a, you know. You know, right, right in the face, blood's coming down. He just wipes it off. He's a hockey player, and uh, you know, by the time that the coaches and the moms got ice on him, uh, he was out for the first pitch, and uh, played that entire turn with two black eyes, swollen nose, looked like Rocky Balboa out there, <laughs> um, but really had a fantastic tournament. Um, you know, we also have, um, you know, great outfielders. There's a number of times uh, at 5070 that these kids. Especially, you know, with good pitching, fast pitching coming in, they make really good contact. Uh, play, uh, on defense. And we get, uh, you know, Kyle Cousineau in the outfield, Matthew Barbos in the outfield, uh, Peter Rabini, um, all three fantastic players. Um, go back to the state um, state games, and uh, you know, both Kate and Sear at second base um, caught a line drive, in which uh, if he doesn't catch that ball, that ball goes in the outfield, two run score, we probably lose that game. And then uh, later on in the game, we actually had Peter Rabini in right field make one of the best catches I've ever seen. The ball hung up there, and uh, my coaches and I, when the ball was hit, uh, take a look out and uh, see him running and running. And he's not known for his speed, but that night he had some speed and got there, uh, made a diving catch, and um, the walrus had landed out there and uh, had, had a great time, great catch, and uh, wound up winning that game. If we don't make those two plays, 
um, at those times we don't move on. So uh, that's just part of baseball, game of in inches. And um, we've been doing the, the right things right. Um, our base running has been fantastic. Um, again, at 5070, it's a much bigger diamond. Uh, the leads, the box, uh, the pitchers holding runners on, our first and third plays, uh, our pickoff moves. Um, you know, we have a forced box situation where it's a, you know, runners at first and third. And uh, I gave the sign. I'm not going to say the sign because it's probably opposing teams listening. And uh, well, you know, you'll be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have that uh, runner at first base take off and try to get a forced box. And uh, some of those circumstances has worked out well for us. Um, and we really try to prepare the kids mentally uh, for the mental part of the game. There's been games that we're up nine nothing, and games that we're down nine nothing, and uh, we still find a way to come back and win and compete. And those are the three words we always like to see. Um, you know that we say within the dugout is um, you know have the confidence out there, be able to compete, and then be able to keep your composure um, when things are going well and when things aren't going so well. So uh, try to teach the fundamentals of baseball. Coach. There you go. That's, he covered a lot. I now, was going to say, Coach, I think you just answered every question we were going to have. <laughs> I mean, all right, go home, show's over. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that was really well done. So you guys wrote all that down, right? Yeah, I took a lot of mental notes about that. <laughs> you know, I Better than me. I answered a lot of the things that I was going to ask you, but, you know, I had this one thing. So um, did you have any um, interchangeable players from, you know, them moving from 9 to 10 bracket to them being 13-year-olds? like 11-year-olds, you uh, mean? 11-year-olds, I mean. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah, we actually had a number of um, players that have stepped up over the years. You know, when they're uh, seven, eight, nine years old, uh, they turn into much different players at 11. Right. And, uh, you know, when we were actually going through, you know, when I was in high school, um, half those kids uh, weren't playing in All-Stars when they were 9, 10, 11 years old. So, um, you know, you tell everyone to go out there and compete as uh, hard as possible. And um, you don't know that around 13, 14, mm -hmm kids develop and uh, some of the best players now won't be the best players then and some of the players that are you know your nine ten players will be the number one player so and to piggyback off that question so you know obviously to have a championship team there has to be some sort of chemistry it was there any kind of like a method that you may use you know taking out the pizza ice cream getting them to kind of bond and mess with each other to create that chemistry yeah i'll let the boys answer this yeah question. i want to hear this from the guys <laughs> remember you got to brag so don't hold anything back what did you guys use to answer tyler's question i don't know if you guys got the whole gist of it what did you guys use to become better friends to play baseball better and together we had a couple pool parties oh yeah? yeah anything else i mean any besides the pool parties oh which was the better pool party the first one or the last one and you probably have more coming up too what's that <laughs> There's more food at the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Really? I didn't get that in, right? I'm sorry, but I'm an umpire, so I knew I wasn't going to get it. Yeah, we actually, <laughs> I, I, think, I think we owe um, some of the hotels some water because uh, the amount of cannonballs these kids do, um, <laughs> yeah. you know, the water by the end of it's like halfway full. Um, actually, the best cannonball on the entire team is our bat boy, uh, Jake Rabini, <laughs> uh, you know, Peter's brother. Um, how old is he now? Nine, Nine years old. The kid has fantastic form for cannonballs. <laughs> fantastic. Does he watch <laughs> tape? <laughs> I think he does watch tape. Yeah. Right, that's funny. Uh, for those people who just wa are watching the Facebook Live feed now, that was Lucy Cabral. She is our paparazzi here at 4 Deep Sports Talk. <laughs> so you'll see her pictures on uh, the 4 Deep Sports Talk with the boys in, in studio. We're doing good still? We're still, still doing, doing good. good. Got a minute left? Got a minute left. All right. So I don't know. Do you, uh, do you have any questions, Alex? Yeah. All right. Alex has a couple of questions, but if you want to call in, 508. Too. I like it. He's prepared. He is prepared. 508 222 1320. So, what is your team's average hit slash strike ratio? Oh, that's a good one. Um, we always try to go two to three, um, two strikes for every three pitches. Um, we don't usually land there, to be honest with you. You know, we're probably, if we're hitting strikes 60% of the time, I think we're doing well. And um, a lot of our pitchers are actually throwing to spots now. When they were younger, um, they were just trying to get the ball over the plate. Now they're trying to paint the corners. Uh, Jackson Moore, our catchers, um, really actually will set up inside. Uh, we'll set up outside. Uh, we'll give them signs. And I try to give as much flexibility as Jackson to call his own game. Um, our pitchers um, also have the um, okay to shake things off. Um, so we really try to teach a, a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, 
uh, uh, 12 to 6 curve if they have it. Um, again, we don't like sliders, um, especially at this age. Um, you know, really puts a lot of tension on the kid's elbow. So we'll either go uh, fastball uh, or change up. A lot of them have a, um, a circle change up um, that we'll call. Uh, um, you know, really at you know two balls, no strikes. We'll still come through with a change up. Uh, we really want to keep those batters off balance. Um, particularly as we get into the regionals and uh, the World Series that we're going to be going to. We're going to talk more about that later, but um, keeping the kids off balance and not knowing what pitch is going to come is uh, really key. All right, we're going to step away. Alex has another question. You are listening to 4 Deep Sports Talk here on the news station, 1320 AMW ARA and online. The kids are live on Facebook and the podcast at 4DeepSportsTalk.com. We are highlighting the 2018 11-year-old Cal Ripken Regional Champions from Freetown Lakeville. We'll be back with more right after this. Today's 4 Deep Sports Talk broadcast is sponsored by Frank Bedeck Law Office. Visit them at bedecklaw.com. By Dr. Scott J. Mandel. Visit them at superiorortho.com. And by Soros Pumping Incorporated. Simply the best at what they do. Visit them at soarspumping.com. And uh, I know they were disappointed back in 2016 when they left that field, but I really think that builds up the, the, the uh, resistance um, in that uh, mindset. Uh, we came back in uh, 2017, came in third, some very good competition. Um, that was held in Middleboro, uh, sorry, Marlboro, Massachusetts. And, um, and then this year, um, you know, really came out. Uh, dropped the first game to uh, West Hartford, Connecticut. Um, yeah, Connecticut that actually won the um, regionals last year, and uh, a little bit nervous. Uh, Lucas actually pitched a one hitter in that game, and uh, you know wound up losing at one nothing, and wound up coming back. Um, strong pitching from Dominic Taylor and Caden Sear in that game. Uh, excellent defense, and wound up having a walk off. Uh, Lucas hit a uh, over the center fielder's head, scoring Dylan Brad Bradley. Um, to wind up winning the game two to one, so uh, actually seven innings to determine the regional champion, which is pretty unbelievable. So a little uh, Rick Porcello 2.0 over here then? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Actually, I'm glad that you brought up Mike Janicki. We actually had him on the show last week, and I kind of want to pick your brains about this, Coach. I, we were talking about uh, sliding in baseball. You know, feet first, head first, and I asked him, do you feel like a lot of the injuries from sliding comes from kind of lack of knowledge? And he said, absolutely, 100%. It is. Uh, do you try to teach your kids how to slide and the proper techniques of, of sliding? Yeah, yeah. there's actually three different types of slides that we, um, we like to teach. Um, one of them is a pop-up slide where you're heading to the base full speed and you want to slow down and make sure you get their feet first. Um, the second one is actually a hook slide um, where you're actually the, you know the throat is going to be there. You tend to hook away from that. Um, so you're either going in with the left foot or the right foot depending on where that throw is coming in from the outfield. Um, and the last slide we like to teach, especially at home plate, is called the backdoor slide. So that throw coming in from the L field, if you see that catcher come up to the front of the plate, uh, you saw this Jackie Bradley Jr. the other day going in head first. We don't teach that, but sliding in on the, um, on the right-hand side, coming over, slapping it with your hand. So there's three types of slides that we teach. So, Coach, as you go into um, you know, the championship, going into Florida, what, do you have a, a game plan? Do you know anything about the teams, you know, the tendencies? Um, that you want to implement on so you guys can come out victorious? Yeah, yeah, it's a great question. Um, my assistant coaches um, have some great ones. Um, you know, we have Milton Bradley, uh, Dylan's father, uh, Mark Sear, who's Caden's father, uh, Jack Taylor, uh, Dominic's father, and Rob Rabini, uh, who's Peter and our famous bat boy, Jake's father. Um, and, uh, you know, all, all of our coaches do some, you know, do some advanced scouting, try to find out who the teams that are going to be there, try to find out what their record is. You know, you know, obviously to get to this level, they're very good teams. Um, we don't know. We we do know a little bit. We don't know our schedule yet. Uh, we know there's going to be a number of games that we'll play. Um, besides the host team, um, there will be two teams from Florida, uh, the champs um, from northern Florida, the champs from southern Florida. Uh, two teams from New York, um, East and West, a team from Pennsylvania, um, who actually won the regionals uh, there. Uh, two teams from the Carolinas, including the defending champs from last year, um, this team from West Raleigh, um, uh, North Carolina is outstanding. Um, obviously watched them last year as they went through the trail. 
uh, a team from Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, you know they're going to be pretty good, some big boys on that team. And uh, the international team this year uh, is from British Columbia, so uh, way up in Canada, just up above uh, Washington. So I trying to tell the boys where this team's from, and uh, they don't have the you know slightest idea where that is, but it's probably the longest ride to get there. So what are some of the things that you just want your team to focus on on doing well that – you know, get put yourselves in good position to win the games. Yeah, we're gonna keep the pitching um, between 40 and 65 pitches per routing. Um, we want to make sure that we give uh, the kids a chance to pitch in a World Series game. You know, so um, we're not gonna have any kid that's gonna go over 65 pitches um, probably per routing. So that's gonna keep all the arms loose. Uh, we have some great pitchers on this team. We'll rotate them straight through and uh, give everyone a chance. Uh, to get up on the mound. Um, it is going to be hot. We are anticipating um, high 80s. Uh, Thunderstorm is going to be humid, so we're going to have three catchers that will rotate through. Um, two of them are here today, Aiden Cousineau and Peter Rubini, um, so they'll be catching for us uh, when we get down there. But really the mindset is to play you know, just good fundamental baseball. Uh, we try to limit um, the amount of mental mistakes that we make and uh, physical errors. You see them, you know, Dustin Petroya makes them, we're going to make them. Everyone makes them, so uh, we just tend to uh, shake those off and get on to the next pitch. Okay. There you go. Coach, what's the hardest thing that you had to get ready for this year with this all-star team? Um, you know, really it's, um, it's the mental aspect of the game. You know, Dom, you, you know this. Um, you know, we have some of the most, most talent um, in, around the area on one team, and uh, it's been fantastic. But we're actually um, trying to get their mindset um, that they can be up by nine nothing and, and still losing, and we could be, you know, down nine nothing and we could come back and win. And so uh, we really try to keep them uh, focused on um, every pitch and uh, just take it one one pitch at a time. All right, we had a call of five zero eight two 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 one three two zero. Please call back if you have a question for the kids or the coach. As we highlight the 2018 11 year old Cal Ripken. There's a call here, so I'll wait for that light to come in and. Uh, where'd it go? Hello, are you there? Yeah. Nope, they hung up. All right, so we'll uh, hit the drop button. They could be playing. Uh, they could be playing tag with us right now. Could be one of our competitors too. Could be. Could be. <laughs> it's funny because I've been doing the show so long. That when we do the high school games, I always run into another coach, like you said, scouting. You know, say, "Oh, I'm, how come we didn't scout the BI game? We're playing them next week, but we're hoping to see the, see the game." But it, it does happen. I, you know, as far as what you mentioned, you don't want to give away any signs. But I, I'm. Chris, that's awesome the way you came prepared with all those notes. I, I can't I like remember. To I, oh, you did good. You did good. <laughs> all right, so I want to ask the boys, you know, I don't care what level you're at. You always want to work on something. There's something that you didn't, you know, last year that you believe you could have worked on. What comes to mind that you guys wanted to work on for this year's All-Star, or even the regular season in the rec league? Was it one, you, want, you know what I'm saying? What would you guys want to work on? All right, get close to the mic, Go please. One at a time, yeah. Okay. yeah. Base running is I'm slow and I'm not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting better though. Anybody else? Anybody else? It must be something you want to work on. Our, you love the game. Our team's composure and um, and then picking each other up and and don't get down when you get out or make an error and come back and get the next one. There you go. Anybody else? I need to work on like keeping my hands back when I'm hitting because I keep my. You hands, drop them. Yeah, I drop my hands and then I don't have enough power. When I used to, I used to put my tongue to the side and bite on it like a cartoon character, but <laughs> it still didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Probably composure too. Good. Keeping your self in the game. Yeah, focus on the game, right? Try not to get caught up in the game. Anybody else before we go to break? No, that's all right. You know, if you don't, you know, if you think about it later. Tap coach in the shoulder. We'll make sure we get it out there. All right, we're going to take our next break. You are listening to Four Deep Sports Talk here on the news station, 1320 AM WARA, and online, all one word, fourdeepsportstalk.com. We are highlighting the 2018 11-year-old Cal Ripken champions from Freetown, Lakeville. We'll be back with more right after this. Today's Four Deep Sports Talk broadcast is sponsored by... Frank Bedeck Law Office. Visit them at bedecklaw.com. By Dr. Scott J. Mandel. Visit them at superiorortho.com. And by Source Pumping Incorporated. Simply the best at what they do. Visit them at sourcepumping.com.
Hey, welcome back. You are listening to Four Deep Sports Talk here on the news station, 1320 AM WARA, and online all one word, fourdeepsportstalk.com. Dominic Damiano, Tyler Fonts, Alex Mayo, Lucy Cabral, Brian Barad, Christian Vicente, uh, Lucas Vicente, and of course the sports master, Justin Ferreira. Wow, what a, what a bunch of characters we got in this room right now. Got a crew. <laughs> we got a crew, and of course we're joined by the 2018 11-year-old Cal Ripken Regional Champions from Freetown Lakeville. If you want to call in, 508 222 And Alex looked over my shoulder, and when we had that little emergency where we lost the feed because of the converter, Alex just reminded me, I think you only, I don't think you have enough numbers in that phone number right there. And he just has this kickback personality, and I'm like, Oh yeah, there's only there's only, there's not three twos, there's only two twos in the number. So now that's up and running. Five oh eight two 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 one three two zero. So adjust your volume. Now engineering the board is no you wanna bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. We'll teach you. Right there, I'll make sure all of all the volumes match to all the makes are all the same. There we go. Now that's for the that's for the that's for that. So you gotta watch your board. So Lucas Vicente is now engineering the board. He is from uh, BCC, Brian Barrera from BSU. And again, if you want to call him, 508-222-1320. So th- I know when we went to on break, we were talking about anybody else that wanted to work on something. Anybody else? No? No base running? They're all looking at me like, no, I think we already said enough. So now I want to know, what are you guys looking forward to when we play in the World Series? What, you know what I mean? What are you guys looking forward to? I mean... The competition, are you looking to play in a different ball field? I'll tell you, the best baseball field I've umpired so far in Caribbean has to be the Dedham field. That reminds me of it, just the way the dirt and the way it's all laid out. That's probably one of oh, yeah, you've been there, right? Yep. Yeah, that's probably one of the better fields I've seen in Cal Ripken tournament play. Uh, anything you guys look besides just getting away and going on an extended vacation? <laughs> you know what I mean? Playing baseball, nothing? No, they'll think about it. Mm. All right, so we kind of worked on, uh, we kind of talked about what you guys wanted to work on, right? When you guys win the tournament, right? Let's start. We'll start with districts, and we'll go to states, and we'll go to regional. Is there any team you guys wanted to, you wanted to play personally? One of those towns. It must have been one town like you said. I wanted to play this town. I wanted to prove I could do. Because maybe you didn't do as good in the tournament. I'll use hypothetical. I'll use Maplewood Park. Is there? Yeah, come on in. Could well, you? in districts. Yeah. As he already said, we lost to Bedford in the finals game. So in states, I wanted to play them again, so we could show them that we could beat them. Right. Right. Anybody else? Anybody else you want looking forward to playing? It must be somebody like you wanted to work on. I wanted to play, I mean, in the, tur- in the tournaments, no? In Just the jump right out like you own the place. Um, Mansfield tournament. In the fi- on finals, we played Maplewood. And Maplewood stayed in 46-60, the smaller fields. And they won the s- states, which if we were there, we would have beat them. So we wanted to show them that we were still the states of... The, the team to beat, right? Champs. Yeah, yeah. The team to beat from, and so we wanted to beat Maplewood. There you go. Anybody else? You know, it's funny as I look at the guys. I'm trying to remember what their posture was when they came to the plate. And I remember he always lowers his hand and he looks into the pitch. Yeah, and he's kinda, famous for that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of uh, Euclid. Yeah. Because yeah. you know what I mean. His own. But it's a kind of a different stance. Absolutely. So he, what he does is, if you guys can picture when he's at bat, he looks in the pitch, he drops his hands. Then when the pitch is going through his windup, he brings his hands back, and then he follows the pitch. It's actually pretty impressive. Why don't you show the camera there? No, I don't know. We don't have to do that. <laughs> you know, I don't want to embarrass him. But it's funny because when I see him come to play, even when he was little, I used to always say, I don't think this kid's going to hit the ball. There's no way this kid's hitting the ball. And as soon as the kid goes to the windup, he changes his posture. Yeah. And I thought that was pretty cool, whatever. Now, why do you do that? Do you do that because it makes you ready to go at bat? There's less to think about? Well, like when I was little, yeah. I was like, hold my hands up. Yep. And my dad said, like, if I drop my shoulder, right. um, I, have more, I have more level swing. I've just been hitting well ever since that. So I've just been doing it since I've been like, I don't know, like eight or nine. Yeah, I agree. I, I remember that. Doing some the all star team, I remember that. I'm trying to think of anybody else coach who I remember who had who had certain habits that they worked out since I mean yeah. They obviously worked out to go to the World Series. Yeah, yeah what's <laughs> you know? funny is Peter's swing, uh his his stance, uh is actually well known. Uh coach from Brockton uh, just a couple of weeks ago says you still have Peter that does that does that weird weird stance to set up <laughs> and I said, Yeah, he's hitting fit for us and uh doing yeah. a fantastic job and uh yeah, he's well he's well known, um, right. you know, throughout the Cal Ripken eleven uh, year old baseball team. 
Um, and, uh, you know, it's just minor adjustments, um, you know, whether it's in your stance, um, you know, keeping your, your head down, keeping your hands back, uh, just some of these minor things that really make a big difference. Oh, it really does. What did you see in these kids? I don't, and I, I apologize because I, I was trying to make sure the software was going, and I, I don't mean to beat on this again, but what were there certain things, with, especially with this group, you guys wanted to work on, you and Jack Taylor and the rest of the coaching staff, that kind of got you worried even going into starting in district play? Yeah. Um, one of the things is uh, we know that the teams, especially at this 50, 70 uh, distance, um, will be able to run on us. Um, you know, one of the things, you know, Jackson Moore, our, our, our catcher, has a great arm. Uh, at 46, 60, you know, we had, you know, very low stolen bases against us uh, because of that arm. Um, one of the things we wanted to work on with our pitchers is to help our catchers out is to do a, um, a slide step, to have a very short delivery uh, to home plate, um, be able to check on the runners. We do pick off moves quite a bit, and we work on those extensively um, at first, second, and third. Uh, we want to keep those runners close and give our uh, catchers a chance to throw runners out. Um, I remember back to the regional game, and uh, Jackson actually threw out two runners at second base that were huge. You know, you're talking a one-run game, uh, both games, and uh, getting the ability to throw runners out at second base um, or third base, um, you know, has been fantastic for us. And um, especially on the base pass, we don't have um, – we have speed, uh, but it's definitely in pockets. And so we'll look for opportunities, um, you know, to bunt, uh, to get that runner in a scoring position and then be able to drive him in. Okay. So we basically covered a lot of the fundamentals. Now, how bad was the adjustment? Because for people, just remind the guys in the room, uh, you guys played in two tournaments. You played in the Rep League tournament. Yep. Well, not the Rep League. That's not a, it was It was at Freetown Lake, Little Fenway. And they had to go to the 60 40 diamond, 60 foot base. Um, 60 we foot did, bases, uh, you know what I mean? We did, we did two tournaments uh, at the 46 uh, 60. And again, I like to. You know, challenge all the boys, putting them in different uh, circumstances to see how they uh, react. You know, and uh, you know, there's been days that it's pouring rain outside, and we'll be uh, we'll be still out there practicing because I want to see them um, adjust to the to the wet baseballs, and be able to feel it coming off the slippery grass. And um, our AAU season, uh, these boys stay together uh, with our Lakeville uh, Cardinals program um, pretty much all winter. Uh, we're actually at uh, Glen Tufts. Uh, baseball uh, indoor facility right here in Brockton and um, we do a great job you know during the winter preparing these boys um, for all conditions we'll have practices early in the morning we'll have practices late at night because um, when 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 game time comes uh, you don't know what time those games are going to be we actually had a pretty significant uh, rain delay uh, up in uh, uh, Dover New Hampshire in that regional uh, final and uh, we started the second game at 8.15. We didn't mm -hmm. get over until 10 o'clock at night. And um, <laughs> I think a lot of that uh, goes back to the boys' preparation. Uh, limiting the amount of Fortnite that we played the night before uh, helps. I don't understand um, that game. Yeah. Fortnite? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to play um, Fortnite one time, but then I just, I just couldn't get into it at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, these boys love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is popular. And some of the things we got we to gotta manage through. But the boys are really doing a great job. Um, had, a, had a friend of mine that I played college football with. Um, he always said the most important night of sleep is the night before and the night before and really didn't get it until you know we got into it you know and uh, you know you have a big game coming up on a Saturday Friday night you don't sleep good because you got the jitters right you, you know you don't sleep well but the most important night is that night before that night you know is actually that that um, that Thursday night um, in which you want to get some good sleep and so uh, we try to limit the fortnight uh, up at one o'clock two o'clock in the morning try to lim <laughs> limit the sleepovers because uh, these guys can have some fun um, but really try to get them, um, you know, settled in that night before. Um, be able to listen to some music, be able to play some video games is fine. Um, you know, and then just get ready for the, for the next day. Apparently, David Price ex seemed to exceed the limit of uh, Fortnite. As apparently, he's injured his uh, thumbs from uh, soaring them due to excessive Fortnite playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had we had actually a good uh, a good laugh about that within the team. I said, look, guys, even David Price getting paid how many millions of dollars plays Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> Right. You know, but uh, but I'm glad he likes it. And he said he always played video games growing up, and it never impacted him. So, who knows if Fortnite was really the one that pushed it over the top? But um, yeah, it's good to see him back and pitching well for the Red Sox. Don't forget, he was a he was a top three pitcher in the American League, back with the Rays. Absolutely. So, guys, I want to know who your favorite player is. Well, who do you look up to, or who do you want to be? Well, I personally, I'm a look up. 
Not to David Ortiz. I'm in. I stole his number. Ah. <laughs> Love it. I look up to Chris Bryan because he's just so smooth in the infield. I look up to Jose Altuve at second base mm -hmm. and makes all those plays. Mm -hmm. I look up to Bryce Harper just because he's amazing in the outfield and can hit. I look up to like Mike Trout because he has like a lot of power and he's a right fielder and a left I look up to Bryce Harper because I play outfield and so does he, and he hits really good. And one day I wish I could hit like him. All great players. That's awesome. Absolutely. Oh boy. So, Coach, how's it? How has the reach been out in the community so far? Yeah, it's been really fantastic. Um, one of the one of the team moms actually came up with uh, Free Lake Baseball World Series Fund uh, on GoFundMe, yes. and um, the outreach has been outstanding to date. We have over 95 people that have donated. Um, you know, we're in within six days. We've gone over $5,500, wow. uh, which nice. is which is greatly going to help. Um, you know, A these, lot. these families <laughs> um, with uh, with travel, airfare, hotels, food. Um, when we when we get down there. Um, especially like to thank you know the close you know friends family uh, we've had teachers uh, wishing the boys good luck uh, which is outstanding we've actually had umpires um, you know helping us out and actually other teams uh, you mentioned Maplewood uh, some of these other local towns that we play you know you know year in and year out um, wish the Freetown Lakeville boys and that's a lot coming from you know our competitors and it's a really great community, you know, that we have here in Eastern Mass, and uh, some really good baseball. We always say District Five um, is some of the best teams in the state, and uh, I really believe that. Um, I'd like to also thank a couple of companies, if, if that's okay, for me to mention that really helped us out. Um, one of them is uh, the, the Greater Taunton, uh, Massachusetts ABUA. I'd like to especially thank them, uh, their donation, uh, Janice Wright Realtors. Uh, Terrell Insurance, and then uh, uh, Josh Fabian from All-Star Baseball. There you go. All right, so we'll step around our last break. If you want to call in when we get back, 508-222-1320. You're listening to 4 Deep Sports Talk here on the news station, 1320 AM WARA, podcasting live and streaming live off our Facebook page here at 4DeepSportsTalk.com. We are highlighting the 2018 11-year-old Cal Ripken Champions from Freetown, Lakeville, all the way to the World Series. We'll be back with more right after this. Today's 4 Deep Sports Talk broadcast is sponsored by Frank Bedeck Law Office. Visit them at bedecklaw.com. By Dr. Scott J. Mandel. Visit them at superiorortho.com. And by Soros Pumping Incorporated. Simply the best at what they do. Visit them at soarspumping.com. You're listening to 4 Deep Sports Talk here on the news station, 1320 AM WARA, and online all in with 4 Deep Sports Talk.com. We do have a caller. Caller, are you still there? I am. Hello, young lady. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Are you watching it on Facebook Live? Or do you see the boys in the studio? I can't see the boys, but I'm very well aware of who they are. Okay. Do you have a question? Do you have a question for the team, for the boys in general, and or do you want to? Speak, or do you, I just want, I'm sorry. I just want to say um, that I'm very proud of them. I know they've worked very hard for the last couple of years to get here, and I've watched at pr pretty much every single game. And I wish them the best next week, and to have a great time, and to just enjoy the experience. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Do you have another? Do you have any questions for the coach or the kids? Why we have you on the phone? I don't. Okay. No questions, just that I love them. That's all. All right, we'll pass that along. Thank you very much for the call. Thank you. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And that wasn't my mom either, so All right. that's <laughs> good. Did you recognize who that Did you recognize who that was? Did, not. No. Did you guys recognize no. the voice? No. 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 That's all right. The mystery call of the wall. At least the IRS yes. doesn't have to track her down. Well, <laughs> well boy. Yeah, that was nice. Hey, you want to call up, please? 508 222 We had a couple other calls, and they didn't hold on. We apologize. Thank you for that young lady for um, calling in and giving you guys. It basically give you guys. Did you hear it? Did you hear it at all a little bit? Yeah. Through the speaker. Through the speaker. Good. That w so that's so that's working good. Um, do you guys have anything you want to throw at them? My only question I have. T, you go first, and then I'll follow up with you. Well, this is a question for the kids. Um, so, is this you guys' first like big game? You know, big trip you guys are going on as a team? Yeah. 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 So, how you guys? Um, you know, what's what are you guys thinking about? You know, you guys excited, nervous. <laughs> Just want to play. Just want to play. I'm like excited. I want to be there um, for the experience on um, next year's um, Big World Series. Yeah, Hit I'm, that one. I'm Hit the lit one. I'm about the competition. Mm -hmm. I'll bring it up. I'm actually really excited to go. All right. Call the whole one minute. Um, okay. I'm Thank you. I'm nervous about going on a plane because it's my first time, but I think it will be okay. I don't want to crash. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught that. I was trying to help out the guys at the board, and I heard someone say crash. Hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully not. I'm super excited to stay in a hotel and play baseball for six straight days. It's a good mindset. All right, so we're next on 4 Sports Talk. Hello, are you still there? Uh, yes, I am. You do have a question for the kids? Uh, this is Chris's mom. Coach's mom. This is Chris's mom. Uh, repeat the question. Can you repeat the question, please? That is my mom. Yeah. Oh, that is your mom. No, I just, oh. All right, we'll have a call. I'll stand by after this. All right, we got that one on hold. Okay. What's your question, young lady? Excuse me? Is she still there? Or we lose her? Hello? Hello? Hi, right, so do you have a question? You guys dropped that call. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. Where's the boys? Uh, good luck and... Uh, Enjoy themselves. That's the most important thing is to have fun. There you go. You guys got you guys heard that? No. He said wish you luck, lots of have a lot of fun. Do you have a direct question for the boys, sir, or no? I do not. All right, well we appreciate the call. That's uh actually right. Lucas's grandfather, I can Lucas tell. Lucas is you can tell by his voice. Thank you, sir. Yep, thank you. That's right. It is. Not not as over here holding the other phone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? The grandmother's calling in, too. Oh, good. Uh, maybe, okay. Thanks, Lou. Thank you for the call. All right, so let's drop that one. All right, there you go. Let's see if someone, uh, someone else, you can lower the volume on that one. Nope, lower the volume on the other one. There you go. Fade that one. There we go. Thank you. 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 Well, you learn from the best. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right, so what's your coach? I need to know, uh, how much are we doing for time? Good? Uh, yeah, it's uh, three minutes. Three minutes, All right? Real fast, coach, if you could finish up. First of all, before we go, what's your coach's name? Uh, Coach Hamilton. 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 The guy doing the stream kind of messed up a little bit, but I'll blame the converter. Um, shout outs real quick before we go. We only get a couple minutes. Yeah. No, we've um, you know done a, a fantastic job you know raising money um, to help us get there. Uh, so free leg uh, baseball World Series fund. Um, you know really to see the com the community pull together. Um, like I said, over 97 people have uh, donated uh, just over the last six days. This really just came up. Um, we were you know s sitting up there after the win in dover and we all kind of looked at each other and said are we really going to florida <laughs> you know mm -hmm. how are we actually going to do this um one of the best things about this is uh this is going to be a great experience for the boys um you know not only in, in their baseball lives but also in their you know in their entire lives um you know they're going to remember back on this um whether we win or lose it doesn't really matter to me um as long as they have fun show great sportsmanship uh, those are going to be the two things that we emphasize during the week get to know the other teams you know these teams are from Kentucky uh, North Carolina South Carolina um, Canada uh, so I'm sure they're gonna um, create a lot of good um, you know bonds um, not only within their own team 
um, but with others and hopefully keep in touch in the future. All right, I just want to get the boys before we sign off. Want the boys? Get, 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 you want to do a shout out to your folks real fast before we go? And I want to say hello to everybody. Out there? Yeah, thank you, mom, your dog, your dog, your cat. <laughs> your dog. I would like to thank my mom for bringing me to all the baseball yeah, games mom. and like paying for all this like hotels yeah, and the plane flights and dedicating her time. I'd like to shout out my mom for letting me play music in the car. <laughs> I know she probably thinks it's very annoying, but it helps like get concentrated for the game. Excellent. I want to thank everybody who donated in and allowing us to go on this amazing trip. I'd like to thank my parents for always giving me money after the games go to the snack shack. <laughs> I'd like to thank my parents for taking me out to all these other great places in St. Orleans. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for supporting me. Yeah, and just a special shout out. Um, it is the Cousinos. They are triplets. Uh, Michaela, Kyle, and Aiden, uh, they're all 12 years old today, so happy birthday. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I can't believe that they're 12. <laughs> Coach, I don't think they realize they're going to the World Series. Yeah. I'm just, just by the, just, you know, just being, they're natural, being kids and they're body English. But, Coach, we wish you the best. Great job. Thank you for coming in on this rainy day. Absolutely. And thank you, um, everyone here in the studio. It's been a pleasure. And um, hopefully we'll come in again after we get a win. There you go. For Tyler Fonts, Alex Mayo, Brian Barad. Make sure I get the names right here. Lucas Vicente, the <laughs> yeah, sportsmaster, Justin Frella, and my sidekick in crime, Lucy Cabral. I'm Dominic Damiano. We hope you enjoyed this hour for Deep Sports Talk as we head on to 2018 Carolpkin Regional Champions from Freetown Lakeville. We will catch you next time. Everyone have a fantastic weekend. Today's 4 Deep Sports Talk broadcast is sponsored by Frank Bedeck Law Office. Visit them at bedecklaw.com. By Dr. Scott J. Mandel. Visit them at superiorortho.com. And by Source Pumping Incorporated. Simply the best at what they do. Visit them at sourcepumping.com.